Hi everyone, <clears throat> Deb here. Sorry for that, doing that. Um, I um, ordered some things, a nice size order actually, from Honey Bee Stamps on November 27th. And they just got here a few couple days, a couple days before Christmas. Um, I didn't need it for Christmas, but I actually had contacted them the day before they actually shipped it. Uh, because I was getting concerned that I might not even get it till the new year, you know, and I knew they were going to have delays. I didn't realize it was going to be like three weeks to ship it or something, like three and a half. Um, <clears throat> it turns out half their small, their small business, half their staff was out with COVID. And I fully understand that now because I myself managed to get it um, last week and I still have it or the tail end of it or something but um there may be the only reason i'm telling you all that is because there may be more pauses in this video and i'll be right back kind of things um in case i have to cough or <clears throat> go like that or by my nose or something anyway i did get some free gifts i got this um santa um express stamps and a little um, Santa bag with this cuts out the snowflake and this cuts out the Merry Christmas here really cute for a free gift I really like that and then also there's a coordinating um, stencil oh I thought that was plain on the back I don't know maybe you can see it better on here I don't maybe not but it has a deer and a star and a Santa and a tree and a row of trees and some flourishes uh, I think that's just the name of it yeah so cute to make backgrounds and things or a Santa so let me show you what else I got um, I got quite a, quite a bit of paper because their retiring paper pads were that were already discounted and on clearance were 50% off on that particular day so I'm going to try and tell you, no, I don't know if I'll tell you which ones. Basically, almost all the paper pads I got, except I think one, were on clearance. And then we'll go, I also got some stamp and die sets. So the first one is <coughs> Rainbow Birthday and the Coordinating One Pack. I should have got two packs, but I got one pack of the Coordinating Envelopes because, you know, they had them. So let's just, I did open these up so I could do this. They're double-sided papers, two of each design, six by six, 24 sheets, made in the USA. That's where I remember seeing it. So this is called Rainbow Birthday. That's like really dark starry night and some stripes here. I like that starry night look. Oops. So, okay, so they have two of each together this is like that squiggly writing or whatever and um i like to think of that as an animal print or like it's raining hard <laughs> kind of thing polka dots are always good for birthdays i feel like this is a very bright green with a darker green this one has foliage and this one i don't know <clears throat> i'm just gonna quickly go through and <clears throat> save my voice the rainbows, pink on pink, different kind of rainbow print. I love this um, sort of purpley pink, almost like a magenta, really pretty. A floral, tone on tone, more squiggly print. That's a really pretty piece there, the florals. And of course, the pastel plaid, rainbow plaid, I guess. And that's very unique too. I actually like that side better. Um, and then the envelopes, I'm not going to go through, but basically of the same pattern, uh, one of each of the same patterns on envelopes. So, and they're A2 size, so which is mostly what I make in cars, but I'm going to change that. And then, you know, it's a bee company, Honey Bee. I got two bee paper pads. This one I don't think I've had before. It's called Bee Bliss and I got the envelopes with it too because they had them. 
and I, I really wasn't thinking I should have gotten two of the envelopes each in case I, well, I could make more than um, 24 cards with this. But anyway, let's just show you this one in case they still have it left. So this, it almost looked like it was um, textured out, but it's not. It has the honeycomb partial tone on tone. And then this side looks almost like linen. This reminds me of Petal Pink color by Stampin' Up! Or, yeah, almost. Not quite. A little darker, I think. <clears throat> this is cute with the little bees. That goes with this envelope right, right here. And some of the patterns, you know, like this one, you wouldn't have to use it with bees at all. It's just a nice background color. Same with this. It looks more like um, little igloos or rainbows without the rainbow. I really like these kind of designs too. I think they're cool. Maybe I'm old. I know I'm old, but oh, that's a cute one with the polka dots with the bees. And as long as they stay away from me, I'm fine with bees. <laughs> I know we need them to get honey and to pollinate flowers there's some cute ones you could even cut them out individually and put them on your projects i like that one too the dark background with the bees so that is bee bliss and coordinating envelopes i don't know if they still have these or not honestly i have not checked this one i think i might have bought once before i probably still have it here and just never came up here and checked before I ordered it but that's okay it's really pretty I love the colors in this this is called the bees knees and it's retiring also and I think some of these I got let me just check I think some of these I got for like a dollar fifty and um uh, let's see bee bliss I yes I got bee bliss for a dollar fifty and uh, where's the bee's knees? <sighs> oh, wait, oops, let me go back. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I got this one for a dollar twenty-five. Yeah, I mean, I paid more for some of the embellishments than I did for the paper pads. So, anyway, with that, let me show you this one. I don't know, like I said, if they're still having the sale or not. It was Black Friday sale, so I'm guessing not. But you never know unless you go look, right? Honey Bee Stamps. That's pretty. It's like a um, uh, gradient. I guess. I'm not sure that's the right word. Um, my neighbor told me that they, when I told her we were sick, that they had just gotten over um, her and her husband. <laughs> excuse me, um, had just gotten over COVID too. This would be pretty to color it. You could even just color some of it or cut them out. Anyway, um, so they were sick with it for over a week as well. So it's going around now. I had not seen them, so I didn't get it from her. I probably got it out shopping, doing my Christmas shopping. Anyway, it just re repeats. I like um, that one. And that one, and that one, <laughs> and that one, and that one too, and that one a lot. I really like this whole pad, so I don't know if I have it already. Maybe I'll gift one, because um, there's an event coming up in January that I may be wanting to gift. All right, then I got this Playful Pastels. I'm guessing it was a dollar fifty to two dollars or something also. <coughs> This is sort of gray instead of black, but florals that you could color or watercolor would be pretty on that. And then another pastel plaid. So that's a different design, sort of a cross weave. And then we have a pastel purple. I love when they have papers that go with each other, like the back or the front of that would go with either one of those two. And then this is sort of turning into that tealish blue blue green 
And forgive my nails. I actually did them yesterday. And they're already a wreck. And I took my time and let them dry and all that stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> but the headache is doing a number on me today. So I didn't do it today. But I wanted to get this video done. My son got me a new clip-on microphone. So this is kind of a test. And then it repeats. Okay, so that is Playful Pastels. Really pretty. <clears throat> and then... A Halloween one because I thought this was cute and let me see how much this was I didn't get any Halloween stamps and stuff I don't think um, <coughs> excuse me Halloween a dollar fifty yep um, the next few are gonna be a dollar twenty five and then there's a bigger one that was half off that was four ninety eight and rainbow birthday was 348 half off and the envelopes the matching envelopes for some of them were um uh two dollars for the rainbow birthday and i think two dollars for the other one too anyway you get the idea and then everything else wasn't 50% off just the paper pads so this is harvest Halloween harvest cute oh leaves to color spider webs the purples are not I mean the, the all the colors and especially the purples are really nice in here for Halloween or fall so some of this you know it doesn't have to be for Halloween like that doesn't have to be Halloween it could be harvest so I guess that's Halloween horror. Same with this. This is like the mums or asters. Now that side would clearly be for Halloween. <laughs> That's pretty. It's like it's got um, almost like a, a watercolor background but then they've overlaid uh, leaves on it. I don't know if you can see the leaves. Yeah you can see them. <clears throat> and then that pretty floral. And then this does have a sort of a leaf pattern too so it's sort of like a blackberry bliss kind of color if you're familiar with stampin up that's a pretty leaf it's got like the sheer just the stems and um, body of the leaf without the meat of it if you will and this um, houndstooth we used to have a houndstooth suit years ago and then it repeats okay so that's that one uh, this is called Gingham Galore Spring. Now this one I think was three something at half off. Um, you're going to see I have three or four gingham paper pads. And just FYI, I know Stampin' Up! has a pack of gingham coming out in their January to June mini. And I'm probably going to get it too because I just love me some gingham. And then I'm going to stop. <laughs> stop getting paper um 2023 is going to be not a no spend i can't i can't do that to myself but i'm gonna really try hard to use what i have in my stash throughout the year because i have a lot not just stamping up i have a lot of stuff as you can see i just bought more stuff but it's in 2022 so <laughs> anyway and um and getting myself organized once and for all i really love these pastel colors i am oh i love that color of course i am more of a jewel tone color person and you see me oohing and on on the next one too but this is really a you know really pretty pad for that's a really pale yellow and there's your darker for spring and easter so don't be surprised and then it repeats so you've got your pinks, yellows, greens, pretty sky blue, your teal, green, blue, your spring greens, I'll call them, and your daffodil yellows. I have beads under here and I am knocking them out everywhere. And um, I usually don't have them on the same desk, but they're there because they've been there since 
a week and a half ago. All right, the fall one. This one I think was a dollar fifty. Don't hold me to that. So we've got browns, blacks, grays. That beautiful. That's more of a blue teal than a green teal. And this is actually a green along the lines of Stampin' Up! Soft Succulent. And this is along the lines of Soft Sea Foam. <laughs> then we have our, our golden yellows. Cinnamon cider kind of color, right? Uh, I don't have a color equated to that one, I don't think. Or this one may be Cajun craze. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. And then we get into Blackberry Bliss kind of color. And then the repeats. So, yeah, I'm not going to have all the colors of inks and alcohol markers that are in these pads, but you know. Now this holiday one, I can't, this was on sale too, but I don't know if it was as much off. Let's see. <clears throat> Sorry. Yes, it was $1.25. Wow. So it's all gingham and it has some of the similar colors as in the um, fall one. But you know, here's one that's similar to Stampin' Up's Crumb Cake and Soft Suede. And then a brighter blue, a night of navy kind of color. So there's some that are similar, but not exact to the other tablet. But these are more your neutrals, navy, and a few greens and reds. I don't really consider that one a holiday pad, but it does seem to have uh, some that would be good for masculine cards and stuff to, to my eye and there's just a few like on this end and the blues maybe that I think would be good for holiday and then there was this one now this was a little more it was half off $9.95 so whatever that is basically $5 I'll say instead of 10 but it's a larger pad it's still only 24 sheets um, they are still double-sided and it's called Giddy for gingham, but they are six inches by six inches by eight and a half inch. So, you know, you can do a lot with that. Eight and a half cut in half is 4.25, perfect for a card front. And then um, six inches this way, you could cut it down, then you still have a decorative piece, right? All right, so here's the colors in this. And this is a little bit different gingham. It's more of the cross weave instead of the straight across. And it feels a little thicker. Like it would be good for, <coughs> excuse me, card fronts. Oops. There was another here. Yeah. I kind of like this pinkish orange. That's pretty. So there you go. That's that. That's the paper pads. Now on to the other fun stuff. All right. Um, I got some embellishments. This one goes with playful pastels. This one, I didn't get a matching paper pad, but I like the colors of the gems. Uh, this one is beach vibes and I'm going to be having some beachy projects coming up this year. So there you go. And summer stems. So I like the size of these. I think they're three millimeter. They don't tell you, but you get 300 of them. They're about the size of, um, one second. Let me test because these are 3.2 millimeter. Yeah, they're about three millimeter and I like that size. I really like Stampin' Up's Red Rhinestone Basic Jewels because they're that size and they and they're sparkly and there's so many colors here that I should not be lacking for a color to go with anything that I do pretty much so between those and Stampin' Up and what I already had in my other stash I am set for embellishments I'm gonna stick them back here in my embellishments then I got this because stamp because this because that's something I would definitely say. Let me take a sip of water, please. 
warm water. <laughs> Just because you're amazing because um, to brighten your day. I love you because I'm thinking of you. Anyway, just because. So that would be something I would say um, usually. And then we get the three layers of the stamp for the because. So I think this one cuts out the stamped word, or you can, I think, layer the die cut one here in with this background and then an even larger background. They showed it on the website and these are called, um, they call them honey cuts dies, but this one is called because buzzword, buzzword, because, yep. So I like that. And then I got this set of two, set of two gear stencils. Uh, they don't show it on the back. I'm not going to open it, but it's a layering stencil. So there's one behind here um, where it looks a little darker and then the overlay on top. So I thought that would be fun to play with. I don't remember if I have a gear one. This is called In Gear Cogs. Um, yeah, I think that's just the name of it right there. In gear, set of two stencils. And they are the six by six ones. So, and then I got this, um, pear. Nope. This, is this the pear one? Yes. This is called Perfect Sentiments. Well, they probably had other stamp sets and things with pears on them. I didn't get those. But you're perfect to the perfect pear, P-E-A-R, to my main squeeze, the sweetest friend, such a peach, thinking of you, I could just squeeze you. So this goes with other fruits too. And like I have things that life is sweeter with you could go with or you're sweet inside and out pucker up would go good with a lemon right thank you very much um i do have strawberries and blueberries and all that kind of stuff very sweet totally sweet uh cutie i thought i said untie tell you my brain is not working um so yeah i i to the perfect pair and then these are the kind of dies that cut them out right around the sentiment and if you didn't want to do that every time you could just use a, a rectangle or a circle or whatever would fit those particular stamps so i liked those their stamps are nice and um thick you know some of them you get they're thin but these feel nice and thick i think They'll stamp real. I've had honeybee stamps before, and I do remember liking them, so I'm sure I'll be pleased with them. They have some beautiful samples on their website, too. And then this I got in, in uh, anticipation of Easter because I just thought it was adorable with these bunnies. It is called Honey Bunnies. This one's holding the heart. That would even be cute for Valentine's right there, right? Uh, honey bunny with a oh hang on a minute <laughs> okay I'm back sorry about that I had a sneezing spell and uh, you know other stuff so yeah we've got dies for the hearts somebody loves you for somebody special just a hello a hi to my honey bunny and you got the cute little bunny holding the heart here this one has wings, could be an angel bunny, who knows. And then just friends holding hands or whatever, or a honey bunny. And then the dies to cut them out. And some of them have labels and some cut the actual word. I think this one cuts out honey bunny right here, the scripty word. And then these uh, smaller ones are, are for these and this. So yeah. Oh, there's even some other ones here. Anyway, here, that's it. That's the honey bunnies, and I thought they were adorable. Now, these, I don't think any of these were on 
sale. Uh, actually, this is retiring, so it was seven dollars. And the dies, um, um, the dies and the in gear stencils were three dollars, they're retiring also. And a lot of the gems were retiring and they were um, like three dollars instead of six or seven, I guess. Um, perfect stamp set sentiments is retiring at seven dollars is what i paid and the honey bunny dies were four dollars so this was uh let me find it again shoot honey cups nope that's not it mm. honey bunnies honey cuts was four dollars and i i know i said this was three so i paid seven dollars for this whole set is that right I'm sorry guys yes no this was seven this was four right yeah so I paid eleven dollars for the whole set I still don't think that's bad and the pear one um, <clears throat> this was this was five dollars for the dies and um oh gosh uh and the stamp set was seven so that was twelve so twelve dollars for this whole set i thought that was totally worth the twelve for that set 11 for that set and I have one more and it is this um now I don't need another poinsettia set like <laughs> I just really don't but I really liked this one I hope I don't already have it I don't think I do I think I checked and didn't have this one I love this bow may your days be merry and bright happy holidays peace on earth season's greetings there's no Merry Christmas in this one, but you don't need to have that on every one, right? Anyway, um, this was not on sale. These were expensive. These were the most expensive thing I got. And these were $24.95 and these were $24.95. So $50 for that too. So it pays sometimes to wait, but the pro only problem with waiting until they're on sale is they might not have it anymore, right? It might go out of stock so I paid I splurged and I got that one um, so I thought I had another um, freebie thing let me just check something <clears throat> make sure I opened everything for you so those were on sale these were on sale. This was on sale. This was not on sale. <laughs> the The stamp was not very expensive, but these I think were eighteen ninety five. Um, this was on sale. This was on sale. This was on sale. This was on sale, but not as much as some of the others. This was on sale on sale oops gosh on sale on sale on sale and then nice free gift this whole little set here three pieces plus i got a coloring basically a thank you note with a coloring card and um yeah i think that is it everyone in total for all of that I saved twenty three dollars and sixty seven cents uh, I got free shipping so my total was one thirty nine forty eight for all that which I don't think is bad at all price wise and um, I, I'm I'm just kind of looking around because 
uh, there was another freebie I thought because um, that Santa Express was one freebie and it was in a bag by itself this bag here which is really cool also by the way they it looks I don't know if they had this printed or if they stamped it themselves because it looks like I could do something like that and just get evergreen stamp and stamp on paper bag and make it myself right you could do that but it has on here Santa Express freebie that was for a hundred dollars or more while supplies last oh okay the other freebie was $75 or more but they scratched that out so they must have run out of that because it says also while supplies last that is okay this is enough of a freebie it's a really nice one in my opinion to get a stamp set a die and a stencil for a freebie that all coordinate <laughs> so thank you honeybees I hope your staff are feeling better and um, I know I'm starting to but I'm still not there quite yet anyway oh and then I went out the other day I thought you know it's been since Monday since I started my car up and it went done <laughs> that was Saturday I tried to call AAA and I got um, the recording that said leave a call back number blah blah I did and then somebody came to my door and I didn't answer it except through the door I could see them with my brother anyway um, I missed their call back so then I tried to call them back again I did the call back thing and they never called back so I figured the people it was Christmas Eve day you know <clears throat> so they were probably going home to their families so I figured it's like 13 to 23 degrees here the last four days and um, Fahrenheit really cold probably why my car decided to do this to me again anyway I'm gonna wait till tomorrow we're supposed to hit 34 <laughs> and have somebody come out and jump start it and then I do need to pick up a few things but I'm doing the shop online pick up you know pick up in their parking lot they'll bring it out to you kind of thing and uh yeah so we'll see how that goes I don't I don't know if I've I think I did that once or twice during the main part of the pandemic we're still there all right guys that's enough take care have a lovely rest of your week and um, please do everything you can to stay well because this is no fun and uh, just think of having a really really bad flu that's how it feels and um, and then there's other stuff going around too so just be careful and take all your precautions it's getting worse again and you know you see the news in other countries where it's gotten really bad again too so we're in that season and uh, I will be back I don't know how much I'll be back this week but I will be back on the first month the day after January 1st for sure or no, well, actually I have a video already scheduled for the 31st and that is the color combo so come watch that it's the last one I'm doing so come watch it and then um, Monday the 2nd is our very first Monday makes with Paige and I were doing a different way we have a theme every month and uh, we're gonna make three to five cards for that one uh, that's kind of the, the range but it has a theme and then basically other than the theme every anything goes and then uh, first Tuesday Twinchies is on the third and then I'm continuing after all case a card on the fifth at noon Eastern because I do have Stampin' Up's new mini catalog and I still have the annual that goes through I don't know April or May or something so um, I have two current catalogs I can use to case card and ink with Heather will be joining me for that so I hope you will come and watch our case of cards as well and I don't have anything from the new catalog because I'm not a demonstrator but there I have my wish list already yeah I do so there will be a purchase on January 5th which is a very special day for me <laughs> bye for now everyone take care see you in the new year